my name is Natalie Bartholo and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make toilet paper food sculpture out of, you heard me, toilet paper. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to need some toilet paper. This is what we used um, and it estimates to be about one roll per student, roughly. If you're interested in making a sandwich, grab some toilet paper and paint and let's begin. For lunch meat, let's take four squares of toilet paper. So I'm gonna take four squares and I'm gonna fold them. I actually had a couple kids ask me what a square of toilet paper was. So if any of you are confused, um, the perforated line, so where you'll see a dotted line on the toilet paper, where it naturally folds, that's where you're going to count your squares and also fold it. So I've got four squares here. I'm gonna fold it one on top of the other and then place it flat on my surface. All right, depending on what kind of lunch meat you're making, you're gonna obviously choose different colors. All right, so let's make a piece of ham. What we're gonna do is mix up a color. Uh, ham is typically like a pinky, lightish red. A pale red and we're gonna dampen our squares go ahead and press down to evenly distribute already this is going to feel nice and sturdy compared to the cheese because we have twice the amount so go ahead and flip it over and dampen the other side All right, now time to apply paint. The great thing with painting, if you're like me and you're not the best at color matching, it's okay. Uh, and typically it will dry lighter than the color that you see. So keep that in mind. If it looks a little bit dark, it will be a couple shades lighter when it dries. All right, typically with ham, you see a bit of like fat spots. So I'm gonna go and dry brush some spots of red and then also white. Okay, I'm gonna show you a close up. All right, so here's a better view of our ham. So as you can see, I put down a light pink and I dry brushed some red and white to get some fat spots. What I'm gonna do now is cut it into a circle. Here we go. I think it looks awesome. I love doing lunch meat. It's so easy to look real and it's just so much fun. Sometimes my students had trouble using the scissors with the wet toilet paper. My biggest advice and what helps me <clears throat> is to place the toilet paper as deep into the scissors as you can. Um, and that is going to be the sharper part that's going to actually cut it. A lot of times my students were trying to just use the tips of the scissors and <clears throat> it was just tearing the toilet paper. You really want to stick as much of that toilet paper into the scissors as you can so that it gets a nice crisp cut. All right, so here's how our ham looks with the trimmed edges. And you'll have these extra pieces here. You can save these and make them into something else or you can put them aside and possibly recycle them later. 
The last step to our lunch meat is adding a darker edge to it. So I'm gonna use a mixture of red and brown. There you have it. Isn't that awesome? Here's what it looks like when it's all dry and ready to go. Now, if you were making something like a charcuterie board or you wanted it folded in a certain way, you would just fold it and let it dry so that it would stay like that. I'm gonna show you how to make a tomato so that you can fake like you did the whole tomato, but you really don't have to. Work smarter, not harder, right? All right, what you're gonna do is take about three squares and I fold it one onto another. All right, what you're gonna do now is then continue to fold it to make kind of like a coil. Now what you're gonna do is just dunk it in your water. And yes, I'm literally just using my dirty paint water. It is okay. Just squeeze out all that excess water and we're gonna make like a half circle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is flatten it while also keeping it round, contradicting a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to apply your red paint. So just take your red watercolor and go right in while it's wet. I'm gonna flip it over All right, usually the insides of our tomato get a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna apply just a little bit of orange. And then again on the other side. So typically if I have students making a sandwich or a hoagie, I just say that they can usually get away with just this because typically you're really only gonna see that edge. Now you can build more to that if you want to um, or you can simplify it. Our last step is to make bread. We're gonna make it in the shape of a triangle so it looks like it is cut. We're gonna use five squares and you're gonna keep them attached and roll them just like we've been doing. Then you're gonna fold it in half to make a triangle shape. Here you're gonna take another five squares long. So again, you're gonna keep them attached and you're gonna wrap it around that triangle, kind of like if you're wrapping a gift. And then you're, as you're folding it, you're going to wet the seams with some water. You can use a spray bottle or you can just apply it with your fingers like I'm doing here. And that's it. You have your half piece of bread, so you can make two of these to make your sandwich. The last step, you're gonna want to paint the edges with brown watercolor, and that's it. If you're interested in more resources, check out my TPT page at Artful Resources. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope you guys have lots of fun creating this in your own classroom.